Hello. In this video, I'll show you how Meeting King can make you the king or queen of your meetings. The purpose of the video is to show you what is possible. You do not have to remember exactly how it's done. The application will guide you. First, we'll start with the power of follow-up meetings. Then, how to prepare yourself for your meetings with private notes. How to use the parking lot so you can stay focused uh, on the agenda. How to combine information from different meetings by using tags. And finally, comments and attachments. Follow-up meetings. Most meetings are part of a regular series. Your weekly management meeting, quarterly board meeting, annual personnel review, monthly town meetings, etc. In all these cases, you will probably start with an update on the tasks from the previous meeting. Meeting King makes it easy for you. There are two ways you can create a follow-up meeting. The first one, just create a new meeting and then click this link, link this meeting to a previous meeting for automatic task follow-up. I select a meeting. Obviously, if you have hundreds of meetings, you can use this filter to quickly find that one meeting that you want to follow up on. And as you see, it copies automatically the list of participants, the tag. So all I have to do is give the meeting a title, management meeting, and select a date and time. Then I will uh, continue to the discussion area. As you can see, what Meeting King does was automatically copy the tasks from the previous meeting onto the agenda. It also copied the tasks from a meeting before that that were still not completed. This will really make sure that things will get done. No one wants to have his name, his or her name, next to an overdue task. Uh, the other way to create a follow-up meeting is by clicking the schedule follow-up when you are done with your, meet, with your base meeting. So now that I'm in this window, let me show you how you can prepare yourself for a meeting with private notes. Let's collapse that. So we have the agenda, topic one. Um, as you rem might remember from the previous video, you can also load a template and add that way all the different topics. So let's say at topic one, we discuss a sensitive issue. I want to have my arguments ready. So I make my notes, argument one, argument two, and I save this as a private note. Now I have right in my agenda everything that I want to bring up during the meeting, but I do not share this information with everybody else. When I email the agenda, this field is ignored. If I print the agenda, however, the private information is included on my printed document. Okay, let's go back to this uh, area and talk about the parking lot. Having an agenda is important to keep your meeting on track. But what do you do when someone brings up a new unrelated subject that is important? If you ignore it, you may forget it, and the meeting participant may get annoyed and will keep pushing the issue. However, discussing it will take time from your current agenda, and no one had the chance to think about this new issue. The solution is to simply place this new topic on the parking lot. So that's a new topic. I open the parking lot and I simply drag the topic onto the parking lot. The interesting thing is that this parking lot is very personal. So 
I can see all the items that were placed onto the parking lot from all the meetings that I attended. And I can also create items myself in my dashboard. So let's say I suddenly get a brainwave. Uh, we have to talk about uh, talk about company uh, Christmas party. I save that topic. The next time that I'm preparing an agenda, I can simply drag the topic onto the agenda. Here's the Christmas party, and now it is on the agenda. So, now that you have some tools to keep your meeting focused, it makes sense to look at what you can do with the information after the meeting. If you record your meeting in Word, you're creating dead information. No active task reminders, no automatic follow-ups, no linking of meetings, and the document will probably never be seen again. Some users try project management tools to manage meetings, but the problem there is that they manage only one project at a time. Chances are that when you have a meeting, you discuss multiple projects or departments. Meeting King can help here. It creates a database, just like an accounting system, where you can filter and combine information from different meetings. So let's see how it works. In the Who, When, Where page, I can add a tag at the meeting level. That means that everything that's created at this meeting will get that tag. So let's add the dem demo tag to it. And you see that here I have the management tag and the demo tag that are at the meeting level. Now, at the topic level, I can add an additional tag. Let's do marketing here. So, if I create a task here, task uh, in sales, and we'll do that for JSON, let's do then, let's save it. So this task now also has the tag sales, and it has the meeting tags management and demo. So if I want to have an overview of everything that needs that I need to do or that others have to do related to a certain project or department, I can easily filter all those tasks in the All Tasks tab. So here, let's see, I type in uh, Sales, and now I get the task that I just created plus some other tasks that were created in different meetings. I can also see who has to do the task. I can search by task owner. I can uh, search only for incomplete tasks. And in this screen, I can also update a task, mark a task complete, uh, or add a comment. Now, in addition to filtering that information in the All Task tab, I can also do it during the meeting. So, we are having a discussion on marketing, for example. I can quickly type in here, Marketing. And I can see all the tasks that I was involved in, either as task owner or in a meeting where I was the meeting organizer that were related to marketing. This list can be different for every person. Let's say I had a meeting with my marketing agency, so those tasks will show up here. Wilma had a meeting with the marketing team, and I did not participate in that meeting, so all the tasks that she created in the meeting with her team will show up in her dashboard. So this way, you don't get an overload of information, but everybody can contribute meaningful to the meeting. 
Since you are creating actionable information, it would be nice if you can use Meeting King also as the delivery platform for your tasks. Well, you can. Assume I have to deliver a report to the team for in the next meeting. I can simply mark the task complete and add a comment and attachment to the task. Here is the plan. Add a file, market analysis, open, and save it. Now, since this information is all interactive, this updated task and the com comment show in the minutes of the original meeting, they show in the dashboard, and here in the agenda. So now you know how you can be the queen or king of your meetings. And I hope this video makes you just as excited about Meeting King as I am. If you are, please help me spread the word and tell your friends on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter about Meeting King. Thank you very much.